Yes. Something else? I need to go. Of course. Faster, if I find a charger to override. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. To the bristleback, or the pipes. Gotta check it out. Charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. came from? Like, how? Yes. This cave leads out of the daunt. Okay, let's see where this leads.
machine's tough. Acid's no use here. Take a look at where the smoke's coming from. <coughs> There's a lot of smoke. It looks like mine runs pretty far back. There's enough blaze here to blast a mountain open. There's a note on one of the barrels. <laughs> that was a dead end. Bristlebacks must have collapsed these tracks too. Just to Oldland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. They must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found.
Sylvan was secretly blasting in the mine. I squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? Back down there? Car tracks must have given no end. I wonder what a merchant would trade for this. Welcome, Elvin. Welcome, Elvin. Hmm. You finally gonna put the muscle where your mouth is? <laughs> Give it a rest, would you? What news do you bring? 
Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think... That Alvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. If I'm gonna find out where the bristlebacks... Another reason to get the embassy going? Machine saw me. Baron Light. Last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. And the College of Horn. And that means the Embassy starting soon. Go on foot from here. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking. Moon's end. That looks like he's had a few. Lighten up, Pai. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh them left. So what happens at these embassies exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. 
the Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. Eyes up here, I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olven was thrilled. Find anything? Anything at all? Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Why the Sun King believes we can have... How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be get- Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three Plans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Approaching! On a machine! Farrell. Open the gates, please! Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry. Can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. 
Hey, Vara. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. I made it just in time. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. Look. See how it goes.